believe that. I know you're cute. I know. Hmm. My shoes smell good? Oh, your bath smells good. Let's get some more. Woo! I told you she eats cardboard. Any sort of wood tree pulp. Okay. So now we're settled. And I can talk because I have time to talk to you now. Not that I didn't before. I just didn't. Um, it's Sunday. Happy Easter. Ooh! That was not me, unless that was a very delayed reaction. Anyway. Yes. Come on, Andy. I know you don't do that, but I just spent a couple of days with cats. Yeah, so I just walked into the room 10, 15 minutes ago after my three and a half hour drive and probably changed into pajamas. And still got a bra on, though. That'll have to come off at some point. Probably before our phone call. And I don't know. What do I have to talk about? He clunked eggs, eggs with my family. Mm. Yes. He clunked eggs. I had an awkward moment with one of my aunts. Because we were all, my section of the family was leaving. And she tells me, oh yeah, when you get back, you know, when you get back in May, just tell me and we'll set up a lunch together. Hello. And that was awkward because neither of us actually... It's one of those things where we're just too similar, but with such differing opinions in that sim in those similarities, that it's just not a good combination. And so I just kind of noncommittally smiled and laughed. And then she kept staring, like she was expecting me to say, Oh, yes, yes, sure! So, I think we're going to conveniently forget that in six weeks. What are you doing? Oh, you're running, that's what you're doing. She's liking her wheel! So this is my, this is the promised viewing of my roommate's chinchilla, the, hello sweetie, the um, object of Friday's poem. Are you smelling my socks? Yes. So, yeah, we spent time with my family, then I did a little more of my thesis -y things. Oh, I'm on the lookout for you, you sneaky one. And then Jason, Mom, and I watched Evan Almighty, which was on TV. Better than Bruce, just because it had some semblance of a plot. Or at least, I think it was just because it was more geared toward altering the traditional story. But it still wasn't that great. <laughs> and... Then I had a cat on my lap for an hour, Snowball set up camp, and didn't leave. And as it was, like, I, I gave him an hour, like, you're cute. I'll, I'll give this to you. You've been antsy around me all the last couple of days. Oh, you just sunk into the dog bed. I wish you could see more of this, but it's just not really feasible. Um, but then I had to, after that hour... I, gave, I was giving Snowball like the 15 minute countdown and eventually just picked him up and moved him over and then came on my way. Woo! And then came here. So there's really not a lot to talk about, punctuated by chinchilla commentary. Uh, so I figured I would... I was going to do literature week for... Oh, hello. No, get back here. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, I know. Turn my legs, turn my legs. Don't eat my toe. Okay. You're sneaky. I told you you were sneaky. Yes. So, I guess I'm just not going to look at you. Keep an eye on this wily one. Um, so, Literature Week was going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but 
that's not technically a week. But I don't have any other material. So I figured I'd tell you one of my favorite trickster stories. And it's from a Winnebago tribe. And we've got this trickster named Wak Junkaga. It sucks. So we've got Wak Junkaga. And he comes across this little troop of ducks. And these ducks, all these ducks want to do is dance. And all Wak Junkaga wants is to eat the ducks. So Wak Junkaga says, well, I'll sing if you close your eyes and dance. And they're like, yeah, sure, sounds cool. And so one by one, as their eyes are closed and they're dancing, he snaps their necks. Until he's got them all. And so he sets up a fire, sticks them, you know, starts roasting them all on the sticks, and then gets tired and says, I want to take a nap. Now there's one thing you need to know about Wak Junkaga, and that's that his penis, this isn't as uh, necessary, this isn't really necessary for this particular one, but his penis is ridiculously long and kind of coils into this box that he keeps on his back. And his intestines are similarly external and they're just kind of wrapped around his torso. So he doesn't realize that they're his though, that, you know, they're his body parts. His little uh, intestine, he thinks is his little brother. So Wak Junkaga says, okay, well, these are cooking. I'm tired, so I'm going to take a nap. Little brother, why don't you keep an eye on everything while I take a bad nap? And so he's like, okay, sure, whatever works. And Wak Junkaga falls asleep. Now those ducks smell fantastic. So this group of foxes ambles over and goes in and goes in and goes into the ducks. And then Wak Junkaga's intestines go, Pfft. sorry, <laughs> sorry, Andy. And the foxes go, oh, shit, and run away. And then they sneak back in. And, you know, because you know, all his anus, intestines, whatever can do is fart at them. So the intestines go, Pfft. and then they run away again. And then they try again, Pfft. run away. And then the foxes are like, wait. All it's doing is blowing air at us. What if it's bluffing? And so they get smart. And then they go in, and they just eat all the ducks. And then take off. So Wak Junkaga wakes up now. He sees the ducks. goes, dude, all I asked you to do was watch over them. And so he's pissed now. And so he takes up a burning stick out of the fireplace and stabs his anus with it. Then he realizes that it's his anus. And goes, fuck, that hurts. Excuse the language. And so he realizes that that's his. That's him. But there's not much he can do about this at this point. So he gathers himself up and starts walking on again. And so he's going, he's going, he's going. And he's noticing, you know, looks like somebody's been here recently. That is one charred, cooked, wonderful smelling piece of fat. And so he picks it up, looks around, ah, and he eats it. And then he finds another piece. And he eats that. And then he finds another piece. And he eats that. And after a while, he realizes, huh, I burnt my anus and my intestines are falling off, aren't they? And they were. So often Khan gathered up all that he has left, his remaining bits of intestines and anus, ties them all together, and that explains why the anus is puckered the way it is. And that is the story that permits me to use... I don't remember the line exactly in my paper, but it's something about a puckered anus. Which I think is fantastic. You are so cute. Ooh. Okay. This is probably more than enough footage to sift through. Ooh, my tea is still hot. Okay. Vroom, ginger peach, ginger peach. So I will talk to you in like an hour and a half. Cheers.